First, uh, I've been in the automotive industry roughly 25 years. Uh, I've been in Russia for five years and uh, I spent 20 years with General Motors. Uh, I'm fascinated with Russia because we have very good people, we have very good workers. If you look at my role at Aftovas, it's rather simple. It's first to return to profitability, uh, secondly to return to 20% market share in Russia, uh, third generate free cash flow, positive free cash flow, and then make 6% operating margin over time. First, if you look at the Russian market, I mean, it's growing very fast and is likely in a couple of years to be the largest in, in Europe. Uh, today, for the Alliance, we have 15 million Ladas on, on the streets in Russia with Russian customers. We have roughly one and a half million Nissans and we have roughly one million Renaults. So we are the major factor in, in Russia. It's a responsibility, but it's also an opportunity. First, it's an extremely demanding market. Uh, secondly, what I see with Russian consumers, they're always looking for something new uh, that is interesting and hot, and I think this is a great opportunity for Datsun. Uh, we are building the Nissan Almira, and we have seen two very good months of sales in, in January and February, and we are proud as Aftovas that this is a product we produce. So I would say tough market. Uh, the Alliance, we are the major player here. Uh, that brings a lot of responsibility, but it also brings opportunity. First, when I look at Aftovas, we are an institution. Uh, it's a great Russian company. Uh, unfortunately, my view is for the last couple of years we have had bad habits. So, to tell our workers that we have the opportunity to build world-class Nissan products, world-class Renault products, world-class Datsun products, is first a big responsibility. Secondly, it means that we must have world-class quality. And third, this also helps us to improve our own production processes and our own production quality that we use for our Lada products. So I would say it's difficult, but if we do everything right, yes, it's a win-win. Last week we had a very good production week, so it was the first week in, in uh, many months where we produced 2,200 vehicles. Out of these 2,200 vehicles, the majority for sure are, are Ladas, including our best-selling Lada Granta. Uh, we relaunched the Lada <coughs> Kalina, and then last week we were building roughly 330 uh, Lada Largus, that is coming to us uh, based on the alliance. And then for sure the Nissan Almira, that we built 262 Nissan Almiras, and now we are on the ramp up of Renault Logan. So last week we were building 100 Logans a day. So, I mean, a lot of responsibility, uh, but it makes the team proud. But it's also tough because the quality level that we need to have on all of these products is something we, we're not used to. It's hard to say, but uh, first, we have a lot of orders from the Alliance where we produce more uh, Renaults more Nissans and more Datsuns, and that's the first level. Secondly, uh, we have our target to regain to 20% market share. That means that we need to build and sell five uh, to 700,000 vehicles every year under the Lada brand, and um, I think it's possible. It's not easy, uh, but it's possible. If you look at these challenges, the, the hardest challenge is really to have the right products for the Russian market. What is a Lada? A Lada is a vehicle designed for rough, tough conditions, uh, high road clearance. Secondly, Russian customers expect to repair the vehicles themselves, so it must be easy to repair. And third, uh, affordable spare parts. This is what we are designing next generation Ladas for. And that also gives us a good export opportunity in emerging markets. Mm -hmm.